The Virgus Show is brought to you by Spanky Stone Hearth. Casual fine dining on beautiful Rose Lake. Virgus State Bank, your locally owned community full service bank. Virgus Event Center for gatherings large or small, including weddings. Virgus Liquor Store, where all the profits profit Virgus. Make the right call. Call Hanson's, the most trusted name in plumbing and heating. Hi, welcome to the Virgo Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining me today. We're at one of the lesser known parks here in Virgus. It's called the Peterson Park. It's right across from the event center. But I think what the thing I want to highlight today is um, this awesome metal loon behind me. Uh, Jody Markwit, who's a local guy, uh, welded four of those for us and we've got three of them placed around Virgus. Uh, maybe it can be a game and you can try to find them. I don't know how you want to do it but they're really cool. And we've got um, a fourth one that's going to be going up very soon. Somewhere down where loons nest and where loons are normally seen but I wanted to highlight that today because um, I just want to talk about the Virgus Community Club for a little bit. There are so many things in the city of Virgus that you will see uh, the planters, these awesome loons, the plants and things that are here that the lions take care of, but the community club funds a lot of those things. And it's, it's just a great marriage between the community club and the city of Vergas that we are able to, hopefully, some of you came out to Shops and Hops and come to our Looney Days events and Harry Man Festival, but we have so many fun events, and all of those fun events create situations where we have the funds to be able to beautify Virgus, to enhance the buildings in Virgus, and to do some of the wonderful things that you like doing in Virgus. So besides the events, just this past, well, maybe past two years now, we were able to give money for the pickleball courts. How many of you have been able to go up and enjoy those pickleball courts? I know that I drive by and every single day that there's cars up there and there's people talking about it and I know there's going to be a dedication coming up in August that we'll be telling you about. Um, how about the Veterans Memorial? How many of you have had a chance to drive in there and just be humbled by the names that you see not only on the pillars but on the benches and when you drive by at night and you see those flags flying um, we were able to give some funds to the Veterans Memorial because of you attending our events, you supporting the Virgus Community Club, and because of all of the wonderful businesses in our area that do that too. When I talk about the planters, when I talk about these loons, when I talk about the beautiful flowers that are out in the in the gardens and things like that, the Virgus Community Club helps with that. And how many of you have walked into the event center lately? It's beautiful in there. The outside we helped with funds to be able to finish out the renovation of that, but if you walk inside, you're going to see the floors are redone. You're going to see that it looks updated and it's been painted and the Virgus Community Club has been able to help with all that and don't get me wrong we love doing that that's why that's why we have events that's why we want to promote our our local businesses that's why we want to always get the name out there if you're on Facebook at all make sure that you like the Virgus Community Club Facebook page because that gives you ideas of what's going on in town it gives you um, just updates but the other thing that it does is our Facebook administrator she's just awesome about sharing all the information about the different businesses and what they've got going on individually one thing that we also did this year the community club did is we um, donated to the Frazee Virgus summer rec so make sure that when you see those kids up there playing baseball the ones that are coming up and doing t-ball they're coming over to Virgus and they're also playing on our fields here we've got beautiful fields that have always been maintained so wonderfully by not only volunteers but by the city workers and so being able to support summer rec was really important to us because there's a lot of Virgus kids that are being going over to Frazee you know now they can just stay in Virgus and um, when they're done they can you know enjoy maybe ice cream uptown or something like that so just make sure that when you see a Virgus Community Club event, when you see a city event, just know that we all kind of work together because we're just trying to make this community of Virgus someplace that you want to come to, someplace that you want to maybe bring your kids to. Um, last weekend, we had the art in the park. It's just grown into an amazing event. It's a free event for kids, and each year the organizers of that come up with some kind of different project. I think we've had fish, we've had loons, we've had totem poles, and this year over a hundred kids made birdhouses. 
And then all those birdhouses that are from pink to orange to traditional brown, they're going to be posted in front of the Vergas Municipal Building. They're, they make a display out of them. And they make sure that they have the kids' names and ages on the front of them so that if grandma and grandpa are coming to town and bringing the grandkids, they can make sure that they check out the one that one of their kids made. And they're displayed there all through September. And then at the end of September, then the kids get to take them home and then they can be in their rooms too. But the Art and Park is just really a fun event. It's one thing that I think I've recognized with it. It just brings in all the grandmas and grandpas from the lakes that want some activity and something for that their kids to do. And that's a fun community club supported project. Another thing the community club recognized is the arts in Vergas. And there's a special group that um, formed. They're kind of like a subgroup, but they're bringing a lot of different events. They're bringing volunteers, which is a huge thing, um, to different events and to just promote Vergas in a way that's maybe more creative, in a way that might be visual, it might be through song, it might be through, oh, they're going to have an art crawl, they, um, they brought the Shimaleski Polka Band here, but anyway, the Vergas Community Club is a supporter of that. So when I'm talking about the community club, um, there's just so many things that we do. Um, it's it's um, If you want to become a member, you obviously are always welcome to do that. It puts you on our membership list. And it's not where you have to come to meetings every month and, and sit for, you know, that hour long and help make decisions. But it definitely is. Um, we always are looking for your input. We're always looking for new ideas. And we just love the idea that um, people support it and are willing to have their name down on there so that when we do need to have a volunteer for upcoming Looney Days and upcoming Harry Man, then your name can be, hey, can I give you a call and say, we need some help for an hour. We need help for a couple hours. You know, maybe it's somebody just sitting taking registrations or it might be someone helping set up fences. It, um, the range of it is all over the place. So when I'm talking about the community club, I'm, you know, really really um, I'm passionate about it because I've been part of the community club and I'm part of this community for so many years and and we just like creating things for people to do and we just really are happy that you support them. One of the fun things that the community club recognized in the city of Vergas brought to light was the fact that we were maybe short on picnic tables. Well and what this means is that we have a lot of people at, at a lot of our events and um, we maybe didn't have enough picnic tables so we had a group of guys guys um, get together from the park board, um, some just volunteer. Um, one of our volunteers opened up his shop for two, three days and they built picnic tables. They cut them out, they had a pattern, they painted them. We had um, Chuck Hansen, Barb Hansen, Tony Saylor and Ray Saylor all just really take part in this and spend some time out there and do that. And I think that's kind of fun because you bring together people that maybe don't normally socialize before that and then and then you become friends. And so then hopefully those guys can get together for um, an event and then when they do, they can sit down at one of the picnic tables that they made that the community club sponsored and paid for and now is in the part of the city park. So it all just works in, in just, a, just a great group of people and a great group of organizations. And so we just love working together with the city. I do want to mention quickly before I end that we've got a great program coming on June 30th here right in the community of Vergas. It's going to be right behind the event center, so it's just kitty corner from where I'm standing right now, and it's called Siama's Congo Roots and it's Sounds of the Heart of Africa. We've got this gentleman that um, came from the Congo and he um, is bringing his musical instruments. It's open and free to the public. Um, it's sponsored by Viking Library System and the Community Club in the city of Vergas. And we're just, we're hoping a lot of people come. It's 2.30 in the afternoon on a Friday, so it's a great way to start your weekend. And I, I'm anticipating that there's going to be feel-good music. There's probably going to be some dancing. Uh, I think he's going to teach some African words that he wants the kids to know. And there's going to be little booklets and coloring pages and stuff that can go home for the younger kids. But it's just going to be a fun day 
um, to be the, you know, if you can start your weekend out with feel good sounds from the heart of Africa, it can't get much better than that, right? I just had anticipate that it's going to be a lot of fun. So on June 30th at 2.30, you're going to want to be at the Vergas Event Center and you're going to want to take part in that. So next time you're in Vergas, make sure you stop in all of our shops. Um, make sure that you come for our events. Um, next time we talk, we're probably going to be talking about Looney Days. That's coming up real fast and we got a lot of things planned for you and we hope you have a good day in Vergas. Mm-hmm.